becoming more evident that a lot of human diseases originate in wildlife and in the past 10 to 15 years some major epidemics that cause severe disease and death in humans have been traced back to wildlife. Now one of the things that's really important for us is being able to respond rapidly to any disease problem uh, when they occur. And what we need to do is get a better understanding of what causes viruses to switch hosts so we can prevent outbreaks from happening. It's tremendously exciting for us. It just opens up a whole new world of capabilities. Disease is one of the key obstacles in conserving wildlife species. And PGEM is very valuable in that it allows us a much greater capacity to study different types of pathogens like viruses, bacteria, and fungi that cause disease in our animals. As long as the host is healthy, they're generally self-limiting infections. But we've seen several cases now where these pox viruses have gone systemic. They've spread throughout the body and it ended up killing uh, some really valuable birds. We've lost a California condor, an Andean condor, and a Micronesian kingfisher, for example, all of them highly endangered. So the question for us now is whether or not this represents a new strain of pox virus or whether or not this represents a problem in the host.